Hello and welcome to the Hidden Village of Art. I'm Higimura and today here is day three of the Inktober theme of collection. Today I decided to go for a more traditional look. So this time I just worked only with using the pencil and ink brush. Uh, this was quite challenging as usually when I do go in black and white, it's very nice to just do a reset. So as you can see, I go ahead and decide to go with a dragon, which are my favorite types. Um, this particular one is an angel dragon. And instead of hoarding coins or money, it's hoarding books. What is power without knowledge? I know that's a little corny, but you know. Eh. This of course will be my last video of the Inktober month, but th that does not mean that I'm not giving up. Uh, please follow me on my Instagram at Higimura Studios to see more of my examples of my art of the Inktober challenging month. So uh, next video will be resuming regular scheduling and will be actually quite a surprise. As some of you have been following, I have uh, been to Japan in July and did an interview. Now, most of you have probably seen the first video of that uh, two interviews that I've done. So the first one was the interview with the underground music journalist, Eli P, which should be popping out now. And that was a very interesting interview. So the next interview that I was able to do was with Miss Olga, who is an entrepreneur. So for you shadow artists that are interested in business or wanting to start business, Miss Olga P has a lot of good advice for you guys. So look forward to that in the next video. I have been finding the Inktober challenge is quite interesting, even though this is the third day and have enjoyed it actually. It's been giving me a great way of trying to figure out new ways and, and meanings to each of the words. In retrospect, I find that it's a great way of getting your juices flowing. For example, even if you're not interested in drawing or uh, creating um, art in the traditional sense of pen or papers. You can always go with painting, or if you're not a painter, you can always go with a creative style. So for example, you could use the words in an arts and crafts type of way. So for example, you with collect, you can probably put together uh, a collection of different types of cupcakes, for example. So there's a lot of good ways of being able to use the Inktober without actually doing inking. It's a great activity to just go ahead and get the juices flowing. Speaking of getting the juices flowing, I have recently received an email from just that agency talking about a new exhibition. So I'm hoping to cover that new exhibition here in Melbourne and we'll be giving more info in the next video. So look forward to that real soon for those shadow artists who love going to galleries or checking out new exhibitions. This illustration will be done in three, two, one. Hmm. I don't think it's too bad. Let me know in the comments below what you guys think. Probably need to do better with the shading. Uh, anyway, I look forward to your comments to helping me out improve. Now that's time for the question of the day. To my fellow shadow artists, do you find working in black and white, whether it's in pencil or ink, a great way of restarting yourself? For example, just getting back to basics, trying to figure out ways and testing yourself and being able to example the shadows or lighting. Please let me know in the comments below. So let's take this out. If you enjoyed this video, brush that like button. Want to see more? Hit that subscribe button. Want to be in the know and share ideas? Join our Facebook page at The Hidden Village of Art. And in the words of my ancestors, Shadow Artists, vanish.